our students are not really engaged in their education right at the moment. We have what I would call a crisis of engagement. The current curriculum, as much as we have tried to reform it, is still not forward-leaning enough to really arouse the passions and interest of students. And this is true with science as well as other subjects. Project-based learning has a way of finding a blend between the existing curriculum, what we want to teach students, what we want them to know, and what we expect them to know, and blends that with inquiry innovation and gives room for students to, in a sense, help design some of their own education. And I think that project-based learning is a very uh, accountable, solid method for doing that. It works well for students to do well on, on tests. It also teaches them to do things, to perform, and to really connect to the real world in a way that uh, much of our education doesn't allow students to do right now. One thing I will say that I think is extremely important is that I am talking about project-based learning and not projects. Many, many teachers have done projects over many years. Project-based learning is a more sophisticated methodology that uses a focus question, what I call a driving question, a really a, uh, a well-designed set of activities that help students move through to solve a problem, and a set of specific criteria at the end of a project that lets students and teachers know uh, the level of performance that the students achieved. So projects are an old way of doing things. Terms like hands-on and so forth are old way of doing things. Project-based learning is a way to take us, I think, into the future. That's why I think project-based learning and the future of science education is really one conversation.